This video will introduce how to burn the UI Flow 2.0 firmware for the Atom Light IoT device. And we will also demonstrate how to connect to the UI Flow 2.0 web page and write programs in a simple way. Before burning the firmware, we need to prepare an Atom Light device, a Type C USB cable, and a computer that can connect to the internet. The computer needs to have the M5 burner desktop application downloaded beforehand. Step 1 Preparation Open the M5 burner desktop application, click the login button in the upper right corner, and enter the registered account. If you haven't registered an account before, you can click register to create one and then log into the application. Step 2 Connect the device and configure Wi Fi and other settings. After logging in successfully, click the Atom Light menu item on the left sidebar to download the UI Flow 2.0 firmware that needs to be burned. Turn on the Atom Light device and connect it to the computer using the USB cable. Click Burn, then Start, confirm the account binding, click Next, click Start, and a device information configuration box will pop up. Enter your Wi-Fi name and password. Later, the Atom Light will connect to this network. Step 3. Burning the program. Click Next to start burning. After the burning is successful, restart the device. If the UI Flow 2.0 device boot screen appears, it means the burning is successful. If you need to change the device configuration later, fill in the Wi-Fi configuration and other settings in the Configure section, click Next to burn again. Next, we will introduce how to use the UI Flow 2.0 online IDE to develop and program the Atom Light device. Step 1. Open the UI Flow 2.0 website. You may need to click the Login button in the upper right corner to log into your account for the first time. In the previous step, we have already configured the Wi-Fi information to the device. Step 2. Connect the device. Wait for the Atom Light device to turn on and connect to the Wi-Fi. It will automatically connect to UI Flow 2.0. At this time, click the Device Management button at the bottom of the UI Flow 2.0 web page to view the online devices. Select the currently online Atom Light device and click Confirm. Step 3. Program Development When we drag a RGB component and click the Run button at the bottom, the online IDE will push the code in the current workspace to the M5 capsule device. After the device receives the program, it will automatically execute it. At this time, we can see the RGB light color is changed, which is consistent with what we saw in the online IDE. This indicates that the program has been successfully pushed. Besides transmitting code through the network, we also support downloading programs through USB. Click the Device Management button at the bottom to turn off Wi-Fi binding, click the Web Terminal button in the lower left corner, insert the USB to connect the Atom Light device, click Connect. We can modify the program to change the RGB light color, click Save and Run, and the program will also be burned into the device. If you need to save the design program to the device, you can click the Burn button located to the right of the Run button. This video ends here. Thank you for watching.